Hello everyone, this is Donald the Repentless with another Repentless News Brief. Today I've been reading and watching videos about Brock Turner's six months jail sentence. Now, a lot of people are outraged, and so am I actually, about this sentence. I mean, if this guy wasn't from a rich family and wasn't a sports star in a university, he would not have been given such a light sentence. Even the prosecutor in the case wanted him to get six years. How a judge could, and I've also read the, the statement of the, of the victim in this case, how a judge can look at and read what this woman said about her experience and think that this guy deserves leniency is beyond me. And his father's attitude in his letter, calling it 20 minutes of action, what does he think this was? This was a consensual, I mean, it's, it's out, outlandish that he would get such a lenient sentence. I mean, if I, you or I, just any like, I'm poor, I'll say it, I'm poor, poor middle class guy was caught doing the same damn thing, you know that the damn book would be thrown at them. But because this guy has a rich family, he's going to get a slap on the wrist. And his father talks about how, you know, it's going to impact his life. Oh, boo-hoo. So he gets to live off your, fa off your ass for a while. If we find, and he'll find a job eventually. I mean, it may have a little bit of an impact on his life. And six months in county jail, well, he probably won't even stay even a month in county jail. At, you know, let's be honest. He'll probably be out within a few weeks if he spends a month at all. In, in, in jail. You know, it's, it's, it's a sad situation when the court gives more consideration to how a, a jail sentence or prison prison sentence will affect the perpetrator over the impact not only for six months, not only for however long he's on probation, but for their entire lives, this woman is going to have to live with this and have, it's, it's going to scar her in ways that I couldn't understand because I've never been through anything like that. And most people wouldn't understand. Only people who have been similarly affected or assaulted like she was would truly understand what she has to go through as a, after this traumatic event. But I'm going to put a link to the article from CNN that I, I read. And like I said, there's not much more I can say about it. It's just, just ridiculous that he gets such a short sentence for something. He, caught in the, he got caught in the act doing it. I mean, the article gets in, into it. And if you haven't already, you're not familiar with the details already, and you can read the article. But I'm not going to rehash everything. You know, I guess the only thing I, I can say good for the media is that the name of this lady has not been revealed. I mean, the last thing she needs is a bunch of internet trolls trying to make her feel like shit when she did absolutely nothing wrong. Even getting drunk. Okay, she got drunk. So what? I've gotten drunk too. I, I passed out. You know, that doesn't justify someone coming along and violating her like that no matter what the situation is, you know. I wouldn't go so far as we have a, have a rape culture, but this is a clear-cut case where she was violated by this man without her permission, without her knowledge. According to her own statement, she didn't know what happened to her until she read it in the news. That, that's, that's sad. You know, a, per, a person should find out what happened to them from a newspaper article. It just shouldn't happen. But anyways, I could go. I could probably just rant and rave and go go ape shit on this judge. But I'm not. I mean, I think I've demonstrated the points I wanted to make and wanted to say. So, thank you for watching this episode of Repentless News Brief. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it on social media. Comment below your thoughts, whether you agree with me that he is just giving a slap on the wrist.
and subscribe for more Repentless News Briefs. This is Donald the Repentless, signing off.